happening with this problem. Here's the piece of cardboard. It's a square piece of cardboard. So the dimensions, let's say, are x by x. We're cutting a five inch uh, square from each corner. And then we're going to fold up the sides along these green dotted lines. And we'll get a box that looks something like this over here. The key is realizing that if I've cut a five inch square out of each corner, that the new dimension right here will be x minus 10. That's like the width of the box. And similarly, this dimension right here will be x minus 10. The original side of the cardboard take away two fives. And then when we fold up the uh, sides of the box, this five inch square will be the height of the box. So we're really using the formula Volume equals length times width times height. Okay. So, but we're told that the volume is 1445 cubic inches. So we can say X minus five. Whoops. I said X minus five. Sorry. It should be X minus 10. Okay. Over here. So. The sides of the box are x minus 10 times x minus 10 times the height, which is 5. And that should give us 1,445 inches cubed. If I divide both sides by 5 and multiply x minus 10 times x minus 10, or square that binomial, I will get x squared minus 20x plus 100 equals whatever 1445 divided by 5 is. And I think that's 289. Now I've got a quadratic equation, which I can solve for x by setting it equal to 0. What's the easiest way to, to solve this equation? Fring might work. The quadratic formula would always work. You could complete the square. Um, matter of fact, that might be the way to do it. Oh, you know what? Instead of doing all this, why didn't we just go x minus 10 the quantity squared equals 289. Then take the square root of both sides equals plus or minus 17. So x equals 10 plus or minus 17, which tells us that x equals 27 or x equals negative 7. In the context of the problem, of course, we reject the x equals negative 7 because you can't have a square with a side of a length of negative 7. So there is what we want the side of the square piece of cardboard to be. And you could check that out by uh, Letting x equal 27, that means that this box is 17 by 17 by 5. And I'll bet if you multiply those all together, you'll get 1445 cubic inches. There you go.